Hey guys, welcome back to a third video on the Inside Spurs channel today. Honestly, don't say I don't treat you and don't say I don't spoil you, all right? So anyway, this video, we're talking a little bit about centre-backs again. So it's kind of a recurring theme. It's what we want. It's what we're looking for. And after obviously signing Ashley, uh, obviously the 18-year-old from Blackburn, and he murdered that name. We'll be talking more so around the first team starter situation and, and what that kind of looks like, okay? Obviously, we know we've got two main targets. We're going to be talking a little bit about them today. So I want to start with an Ange Postacoglu uh, comment first before I talk about the update, okay? And it said, um, when asked if Tottenham will sign a new centre-back, uh, Postacoglu confirms... Yes, we'll do something there. It's not a secret. I think that's definitely our intention, absolutely. We've been working on it for a while and we're definitely trying to get uh, to get it done as quickly as possible. So for me, we've been on this for weeks, right? I've obviously reported it on this channel. We've obviously spoken about it in the comments section. I'm always happy to have a, a bit of a dialogue in there. You know me. We've been talking about it for weeks now and it just hasn't really, it hasn't really kicked on the way we thought it was going to, okay? We've had discussions with Wolfsburg with Mickey van der Ven. We've had conversations with Leverkusen over Edmund Tapsoba. Hell, we've even talked to Barca about Longley and nothing really has obviously progressed. I mean, Longley's gone back to training at Barcelona when he was told, have an extra week off. He's gone back to training, I think, yesterday or today. Uh, yesterday, it was the 18th. We're talking about two players from the Bundesliga who we, we trying to. We're basically, we had agreed contract. Contracts aren't an issue, but we're agreeing a fee. So basically, we're we're talking about fees. Who's going to be who's going to be cheaper? And if the sec, if our second option is the cheaper one, how much cheaper is he than the first one? Because if it's close, we'll still go for the first one. All right. You'll see why um, I say that in just a second. So from Ritzer Romano. Uh, Spurs will have new conversations with Bayer Leverkusen for Edmund Tapsoba this week. Tapsoba is the number one option, but he's also more expensive, so it's important for Tottenham to understand if they can find a comp price on the asking price. Okay, first and foremost, we're cheap. All right, we all know that as Spurs fans, we're cheap. We don't go for the number one option. We never have. We go for the correct bank balance option, okay? Which I can understand sometimes. We can't always get every single player we want, right? I, I don't think any Spurs fans ever going to sit there and say, can't believe we missed out on those eight players, but we got all these other players. You know, it's never like that. What we say is, too often it happens. Too often do we go for the cheap option. Too often do we go for the option which suits the bank account better than it does suiting performance, okay? If Tapsoba's the guy, let, we'll play a hypothetical game. If Tapsoba's the guy and he's the guy that's going to suit the team and give a better quality of performance, then ah, go and get him. It's what Ange wants. If you want a manager to succeed, you back the manager. When we look at the players we signed, Vicario, it's got, it's got Paratici's name written all over it. James Madison, that is Daniel Levy to a T, okay? Uh, Manuel Solomon, Daniel Levy to a T. We're sitting there, I can't, I, don't go wrong, I'm not saying Andrew Postecoglou's not said, oh, oh yeah, I like Madison, oh yeah, I like Manuel Solomon. It does also kind of feel like, has he really had any say on what he may want? I don't think he has, okay? Um, that's not to say that won't change, but it, it does kind of right now kind of scream out he's not really going to get what he wants. Um, yeah, we shouldn't be going for the cheap option there. I mean, don't worry, if Tapsoba's three times the price, he's going to cost 90 million, and Van der Ven's going to cost 30, then yeah, I can understand it. But we're going to probably be talking about anywhere between about 10 to 15 million. I don't see a signing all that many players after we get another centre-half. So just go and sort it. You're going to get people leaving the club, which is going to save you lots of money. It's going to even out all the bank bank balances. What it's about is Daniel Levy is the highest paid director in, in, in the Premier League. He wants everyone to get their dividends and get every year a higher, higher dividend. That's what it's about. Let's be honest. Let's not, let's not be around the bush. It's all about money for them at the end of the day in their back pocket. Talking of a centre-half leaving, okay, now there's a, there was a list that came out from Alistair Goal which included Tanganga, Roden, Sanchez and there's one more that's left me there. Don't hold me to the fire on that, but there was four on the list. So speaking of Sanchez, uh, Graham Bailey of 90 Minute Football said that um, 
Spurs have granted centre back permission, uh, uh, Davis permission to talk to interested clubs over a summer move. Strasbourg are now in this list. So Strasbourg, if you're not aware, were recently bought by Todd Bowley's group. Okay, it was ironic. They sold Havertz for 65 million and then went and bought Strasbourg for 65 million. Havertz is worth a club in league one. Obviously, they are wanting to come a European side within um, within within league one. Obviously, would they have the money to spend? I guess so. Um, Sparta at Moscow with their money to spend? I don't know. I know Galatasaray's obviously made that biz, but is that bid we we put that out there to use that against other teams to kind of say, hey, look, they've made an offer. Well, we don't mind it that much. What have you got? Have you got anything better? You know, play teams off one another, but get get a get a market, get an auction. You know, instead of getting seven and a half million, maybe get twelve and a half million because of the auction, you know, that kind of thing. It's the right time for Sanchez to move on. There's some decent clubs in that list, to be honest. It's not, there's not really bad clubs in that list. Um, again, it's another thing. If we get 10 million for Sanchez, 10 million for, 10 million for Winks, I think Tanganga and Roden fetch you, you know, 25 to 30 million between them. Um, if not, maybe even a little bit more. We're talking about 50 million already there and then because you're including Winks. You talk about, you know, moving on a central midfielder. You know, Hoiberg might get you 30 to 40 million. Le Celso, if you do move him on, is going to get you 20 odd mil. You know, you talk about Brian Hill, it's going to fetch you a few quids. You know, a lot there's a lot of value in that squad, more than people think. But again, it's still time for Ange. Need, Ange still needs to see what he's working with. And maybe Ange goes, actually, I don't need a central midfielder. I don't need Conor McGallagher. I've got the Celso, I've got in Don Bella, I've got these boys, you know. So obviously, if you haven't checked out videos from earlier on in the day, you'll see that I've talked about the game yesterday and uh, a new centre half we've signed, as well as interest in an English international. Check them out in the other videos that I released today. But it's interesting to see. I think we should find out some concrete news. I reckon in the next forty-eight hours around the centre half's position. Obviously, Spurs work Monday to Friday, nine to five. So don't get don't get excited about the weekend. We don't really do anything over the weekend. That's not how we work. We work nine to five because big football clubs do that. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Obviously, like the video if you did enjoy it. Him in the comment section. Tap sober. Is he the guy for you? For me, yeah. I'm all about a bit of tap sober. I think it'd be quality. Do we need two centre halves? Yes. Friendly against West Ham showed that. Let me know if you think you agree with me on that same lines. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and hit the bell notification for more. It's important to hit the bell notification. We keep releasing more videos now, so be prepared. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, lads.